Six reasons why you are embarrassing yourself around girls. I'm a god. Yep, I'm a god. We all know this. But I wasn't always god of the universe. Before I took control of the universe from my dad Cronus and smashed his girl, I made some embarrassing mistakes. And I'm here to make sure you guys don't make the same mistakes I made. From the messages I get on Instagram and in the comments from you guys, it sounds like you guys really need this video. So enough bullshit, crack open your notebooks and take notes. The God is about to spit some knowledge. Number 1. Being too aggressive A lot of guys talk to girls with the sole purpose of trying to get the girl to sleep with them. Now, while I appreciate the focus and determination, this actually ends up backfiring on you most of the time and lowering the chance of her sleeping with you. Let me explain. When you come out too aggressive from the get-go, you give off the vibe that you're only talking to her with an agenda. And in case you haven't heard me talk about this before, letting a girl know that you have an agenda is the easiest way to make them unattracted to you. Also, when you're too aggressive, it makes the girl see you as a player who talks to every girl like this, and it makes her think that you only value her for sex. Then you end up looking like one of those loser pickup artists whose only goal in life is to hook up with a bunch of girls so he can brag about it on his online pickup forum. <laughs> yeah, bro, I literally just had a threesome with a 10 out of a 10 Victoria's Secret model after she gave me 6.5 IOIs, and I literally fucked the shit out of her in my Lambo. By the way, I have three Lambos. Yeah, okay, bro, nobody really gives a fuck. Not to mention, it makes you look cringy and like one of those thirsty guys who goes up to girls and it's like, where's my hug at? Yeah, yeah, talk about embarrassing, all right? Now look, you want to be upfront and assertive in showing her that you're really interested in her romantically, not interested in her only sexually because she'll just write you off as a douchebag. Number 2. Having a liquid personality This means that you don't actually have a personality, and that you just act based on how you think other people and girls around you want you to act. It's a subservient personality trait that shows you're trying way too hard to make friends and appease all the people around you. It also makes you look like a pushover who just agrees with everyone and doesn't have their own viewpoints or solid, concrete personality. And doing this will ensure nobody respects you. Hey, be who you are and stick to it. Don't change it up because you're with a different group of people and want to fit in. Fuck that. I'm based Zeus. If people don't like it, then too fucking bad for them because I'm gonna keep being based Zeus. Number 3. Having B.O. aka body odor. There's no excuse to smell like shit, period. If you're old enough to be watching my videos, then you're old enough to know when it's time to shower. It's well known girls take how their man smells very seriously. And that means you're old enough to stock your shower up with the award-winning best smelling body wash from our sponsor, Grooming Lounge. This body wash is the best body wash you'll ever experience. No other way to describe it. Now, the other night, I had just finished up smashing Aphrodite and jumped in the shower to freshen up. And after I came out and she smelled the body wash on me, we were going for round two. The body wash has a really awesome black pepper scent to it that lasts a long time. I swear, I went to sleep after taking a shower, and when I woke up the next morning, I could still smell the body wash on my skin. Fucking awesome, right? No wonder this body wash has won awards. You know what's crazy to me? The fact that grown-ass men walk around smelling like shit. Like, dude, come on. How do you not smell yourself? Once you're like over the age of 13, you have to be conscious enough to know that. One, girls don't like guys who smell bad, duh. And two, hey, if I smell like shit, I should probably go take a shower and put on deodorant. And luckily, Grooming Lounge even has you covered for that too, with their Greatest Pits Eucalyptus Scent Deodorant that's perfect for sensitive skin, since it's free of alcohol and aluminum, which can cause irritation. Not to mention the deodorant leaves your pits feeling fresh and cool without leaving stains. Not only do they got body, but also Grooming Lounge has got you covered with their mint-scented thickening conditioner to make sure your hair is looking sleek and godly. You need to be using conditioner to make sure your hair is soft, healthy, and moisturized. Otherwise, you're going to get dandruff from your dry scalp and have flakes all over you. If you want to check out Grooming Lounge, then check the link in the description for the Zeus exclusive package, which gets you $36 off your order and includes their body wash, deodorant, and conditioner all for just $29 when you use the code ZEUS36. Yeah, the code gets you over 50% off. You're welcome. But even worse than having super smelly armpits in BO is number four. Having super hairy armpits. Most guys typically don't need to shave their armpits. But if you're on the hairier side, then you definitely need to trim your armpits so they're at a normal, reasonable length. You don't want to spend hours at the gym perfecting your gains, getting that Greek god physique, and finally being able to look godly in a tank top just to have your armpits become home to a forest ecosystem. 
A lot of guys overlook this because it's pretty normal for a guy to have armpit hair, but you gotta make sure it doesn't get out of control. Number 5. Having Wilderness Eyebrows Now, obviously, if you have a unibrow, you need to tweeze that shit. Eyebrows is a plural word. You don't need me to tell you to get rid of your unibrow unless you're trying to look like that motherfucker from Sesame Street. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> But you should always make sure that your eyebrows aren't too long or thick on either side. Tweeze your eyebrows or use eyebrow scissors to tidy up your eyebrows. But don't make them overly shaped because then you'll end up looking like this guy. Actually, never mind. Enough of that. Next tip. Number six, being fake confident instead of being real confident. Work on yourself and build true confidence in yourself instead of trying to fake it. Faking it is obvious and comes off as cringy as shit. Literally cringy as shit. Like, literally. As in girls cringe away from that shit as much as they cringe away from an actual pile of shit. Like actual shit. What this shows is that you're actually not confident. And you're just putting up a front so they think you're confident. And girls and other guys see right through that. Then you end up looking like a tryhard. And that's it. If you want to check out Grooming Lounge and start smelling awesome, then hit the link in the description to check out the over 50% off limited time Zeus exclusive package deal on their body wash, deodorant, and conditioner all for just 29 bucks when you use the code ZEUS36.